In this video, we'll be taking a look at three MLB games happening on April 9, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released, so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three MLB games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Houston Astros vs. Kansas City Royals The Houston Astros are gearing up to face the Kansas City Royals in an American League showdown at Kauffman Stadium, kicking off a three-game series. The Astros are coming off a strong 10-5 road win against the Texas Rangers on Sunday, whereas the Royals enjoyed a day off. Houston has been facing some challenges getting their momentum going. Despite their recent victory on Monday, they heavily relied on their bullpen, with three relievers pitching multiple innings to secure the win. The game against the Rangers didn't unfold as smoothly as Houston would have liked to close out the series, but they managed to clinch their third win of the season. We can anticipate a solid performance from Cole Raggins, who faced a formidable Baltimore Orioles lineup in his last outing. He aimed to stifle the Astros' batting order. Meanwhile, Javier needs to work on his control. Despite his impressive pitching skills, the bullpen will play a crucial role in this game. Houston has faced difficulties this season, particularly with their batting. Their offense has struggled to find consistency, scoring three runs or fewer in seven out of their ten games so far. Interestingly, they've outscored opponents 21-1 in their three wins but have been outscored 40-16 in their seven losses. The Astros had to travel after playing on Monday night, whereas the Royals were already at home following their sweep of the White Sox. Kansas City starting rotation has been dependable, and they are likely to continue that trend in this matchup. I believe the Royals have a good chance against Christian Javier, especially considering his road performance issues last season. Additionally, the Royals have excelled at home this season against right-handed pitching. Although Houston put forth a commendable effort to split their series, I still feel they have some ground to cover before earning complete trust for a wager. Therefore, the Kansas City Royals' money line is our full game side pick. Heading into Monday, the under has hidden 7 out of 10 games for Houston this season. They rank 22nd in the league with an average of 3.7 runs per game and have an overall average total of 7.8 runs per game this year. On the road, their numbers drop slightly to 2.33 runs per game and an average total of 8.33 runs per game. Meanwhile, Kansas City has seen the under hit in six of their nine games this season. They're tied for 15th in runs per game, averaging 4.4, and their overall average total stands at 6.9 runs per game. At home, the Royals boost their average to 4.71 runs per game with an average total of 6 6.71 runs per contest. This suggests that we could witness a well-pitched game from both sides. Therefore, under the projected total is our full game total pick. Arizona Diamondbacks vs. Colorado Rockies The MLB action continues on Tuesday with an intriguing divisional matchup scheduled between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the Colorado Rockies. The Diamondbacks haven't been in top form lately, losing four out of their last five games. Despite this, their offense has been impressive, scoring a total of 15 runs across their last three outings. Given their recent performance against right-handed pitchers and the struggles seen in Cal Quantrill's two starts, where he surrendered a total of nine runs, Arizona's hitters are likely to capitalize on this matchup. Quantrill has particularly struggled against the Diamondbacks in recent encounters, which doesn't bode well for the Rockies, who have one of the weakest bullpens in the league. Meanwhile, the Rockies themselves have been on a downward trend, dropping six of their last seven games. They've managed to perform well offensively, scoring 18 runs over their last three outings, but facing Merrill Kelly might put a damper on their expectations. Kelly has been stellar against Colorado, boasting a 6-3 record and allowing only five runs over his last four starts against them. Given these stats, it's anticipated that Kelly will be able to stifle Colorado's offense effectively. This upcoming game will feature the same pitching matchup that occurred in Phoenix on March 29th, where the Diamondbacks secured a decisive 7-3 victory. I firmly believe Merrill Kelly will be the linchpin for the Diamondbacks as they attempt to break out of their slump. 
His performance this season has been exceptional, maintaining a 1.98 earned run average and a minuscule 0.66 WHIP over two starts. Furthermore, Kelly has historically dominated against the Rockies, holding them to a modest .228, .260, and .397 slash line across 184 at-bats. With Colorado struggling early in the season and failing to cover the run line in most games, Arizona appears poised for success. Arizona heads into this game seeking to halt a five-game skid, with pitching proving to be a significant weak point during this stretch. On Monday night, the Diamondbacks squandered a 4-1 lead by allowing the subsequent six runs. Merrill Kelly will take the mound for Arizona, having given up just three earned runs over two starts against tough opponents like the Yankees and Rockies. On the other hand, Colorado's team earned run average is the worst in the MLB, although they have managed a 2-2 record at home thus far. Cal Quantrill gets the start for the Rockies, having conceded nine earned runs in his previous two outings against the Cubs and Diamondbacks. Given their stronger hitting lineup and Kelly's consistency, the Arizona Diamondbacks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full game side pick. The Diamondbacks have been consistent on offense, averaging 6.1 runs per game and an impressive 5 runs per game on the road. Against the Rockies, they've managed 5.33 runs per game in their last three matchups. Considering that Colorado's pitching staff allows an average of 5.67 runs per game at home, the Diamondbacks are likely to meet or exceed their offensive averages. The Rockies, on the other hand, average 4.2 runs per game overall and 6 runs per game at home, though they've only scored 4.33 runs per game against the Diamondbacks in recent meetings. Historically, the Diamondbacks and Rockies have surpassed the total score in four of their last five encounters. While Kelly is expected to deliver a solid performance, there's a chance Colorado might break through for a couple of runs. Kelly's stats at Coors Field reflect this, with a 4.91 earned run average and 1.28 WHIP over 36.1 innings pitched. Additionally, the Diamondbacks' bullpen, while average, might face challenges, ranking 15th in earned run average and 11th in WHIP conversely, the Rockies' bullpen ranks near the bottom of the league, sitting at 29th in earned run average and dead last in WHIP considering Arizona's strong offensive history against Cal Quantrill, where they've slashed an impressive .299, .341 and .584 over 77 at-bats, it's likely that we'll see plenty of runs in this game. Therefore, given the offensive potential and pitching vulnerabilities of both teams, over the projected total is our full game total pick. Washington Nationals vs. San Francisco Giants The Nationals and Giants face off in the second game of their three-game series in San Francisco. The Giants have been performing well lately, winning two out of their last three games. However, they've had trouble scoring runs in their recent outings, managing only six runs in total across their last three games. Nevertheless, they're likely to show more offensive prowess in this matchup, given that Josiah Gray, Washington's starting pitcher, has struggled on the mound this season, conceding 13 runs over his last two two starts. Washington's bullpen hasn't been solid either, which could pose additional challenges in containing the Giants' offense. On the other hand, the Nationals have lost three of their last four games, with their offensive struggles continuing. They've only managed to score five runs in their last three games. Their batting average against left-handers is below .200, and facing the Giants' left-handed pitcher, Harrison, who has performed well with only six runs allowed in his recent starts, may further hinder their offensive production. As a result, the Nationals might find find it difficult to keep pace with the Giants in this contest. Josiah Gray, despite making the All-Star game last year, has had a rough start to this season, conceding 15 hits and 13 runs in just 8.1 innings. His performance has been subpar, and pitching away from home in the spacious San Francisco ballpark could add to his discomfort. Based on their recent performances and the pitching matchup, the Giants appear to be the stronger team in this game, particularly with the advantage of playing at home. Therefore, the San Francisco Giants' money line is our full game side pick. While neither starting pitcher has been exceptionally dominant, both teams have struggled to generate offense. Washington has struggled to score runs consistently, as evidenced by their recent games where they've scored four runs or less in six out of nine contests. Similarly, the Giants have only managed to exceed four runs twice in their first ten games. Considering Gray's effectiveness against the Giants, it's likely that the home team's offense will be subdued early in the game. Furthermore, recent trends show that the under has hit in the Nationals series against Philadelphia and in the Giants series series against the Padres. Despite Josiah Gray's unimpressive statistics, he generally performs better on the road, and his only road start this season was at the hitter-friendly Great American Ballpark. 
This suggests that Oracle Park in San Francisco could be more favorable to Gray. Additionally, Gray has historically performed well against the Giants. On the other hand, Harrison has limited experience but has maintained a sub-3 earned run average in four career home starts, indicating that we could witness a low-scoring affair after Monday's lopsided series opener. Consequently, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.